All right, so let's finish up. The Bible says, Cursed is the man that trusts in man that makes flesh his arm. We was talking about, and today's Sunday sermon is about trusting the Most High. You know, some things you do have to do yourself, but ultimately your heart and your mind should learn and should trust the Most High to keep you safe, to keep you healthy, to bless you, to bless the works of your hands, so on and so forth. Don't be one of them I am God people, you know. In terms of how you view yourself, that's fine. As long as you know who's the real God. Like, did you, and you mean it in the sense of you being a, a little version of him. But if you one of them people that think that that's just what you is and you not acknowledging him, your path is crooked and it's going to ultimately lead to the lake of fire. So if you be one of them people that be out here living your life in a sinful fashion, not acknowledging him, not fearing him, not fearing his judgment, not caring what he thinks, then you're going to find your soul lost in the dark and ultimately punished because you know I talk to y'all about the future and stuff like that being a prophet um, I don't always go into all the details you know what I mean but if you watch my videos you know what I'm talking about and you know I done talked about the lake of fire so on and so forth in the past but there's nothing to fear in this earth but God himself. If you fear anything other than God, you out of pocket. Like, there's, what else should you even fear? A person, a being that gave you life and that could give you life again or can cause your life to be miserable. Or these people. See, y'all be too focused on people. Like the Bible say, you worship the creature rather than the creator who is to be praised forevermore. You know, and he'll show you like marriage ain't the answer. Huh. <laughs> not the answer. Friendship, not the answer. What your soul is looking for is that eternal resting place. And there's only one eternal resting place, and that's the kingdom of the Most High God. I ain't talking about Christianity or these religions. I'm talking about the actual kingdom. The Bible don't preach Christianity. The Bible don't pre preach Islam or any of those rela uh, religions. You can make it through there if you do it right. But that ain't what the Bible preach. So this is why the scripture told us to trust in the most high with all your heart. And not to lean to your own understanding. Your own understanding to cause your soul to be lost. Your own understanding to cause you to be, rely on cigarettes and drugs. Your own understanding to cause you to try to become a drug kingpin. Your own understanding to cause you to rob somebody and to do something that's going to have you behind bars the rest of your life. Because it says in all your ways acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. See, until then, your paths is crooked. That's why people go to jail. That's why people die in these streets like animals. That's why people are addicted to everything under the face of the earth, including food. You got some people that's addicted to eating. They act like they always got to be eating. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> you know, just, just all the time, man. You know how you lift weights? Some people got muscles in their fingers. Some people got more muscles in their fingers than their bodies because they always got some double cheeseburger 
or some foot long sub or something. Just they always like this. That's an exercise, see? You always like this. You biting, you biting, you biting. So you your fingers getting stronger. There's some people most of their strength is in their hands. Cause all they do, they always grabbing something, eating. Some people are addicted to food. I mean, I like food, but I ain't addicted to it. Some people was like, remember the stork on Looney Tunes that was always drunk? Some people addicted to alcohol. Some people are addicted to gambling. Like, I'm not one to say you can't play. But some people is addicted to it to the point where all their money is going towards trying to win. That shouldn't be the case. That's dumb. If you play, play responsibly. This coming from a preacher, like I'm not one of them ones that that try to guilt trip you so I could get all your money and you still not coming up. Like some of these preachers, they want you to give them all your money and you still, your money still not increasing. We're going to talk about that next week. Because that go hand in hand with this too. Trust in the most high with all your heart. Does not say don't work. Does not say don't invest. Does not say don't save your money. Because you got people out there, I don't got to save money. God going to provide for me. Dumb. Money is like seeds. It's going to grow the more of it you got and the more of it you plant. And I ain't saying you got to always plant them preachers. Sometimes you plant in a prosperous company, planting yourself, planting your own bank account, your own safe. Ecclesiastes says, give a portion to seven. Yes, also to eight. Because you don't know which one is going to be the one that, that blossomed, that prospered. But while you're doing whatever you're doing, whatever your do is, Trust in the most high. Not women. Not women. I'm noticing something about some of these guys, man. Listen, man. Whatever you got, however big you are, is always somebody bigger. However long you can last, it's always somebody that can last longer. It's somebody that hit that bottom. That you couldn't hit the bottom in. So why why trust in women? As hypergamous and monkey branchy as they are, why would you trust in them? Trust in the most high with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Your own understanding, oh, all I got to do is get the perfect job. Your own understanding, all I got to do is get the perfect wife. Man, don't you know that flesh rots and spoils? That's why you don't trust in no woman. That's not their role. That's why the most high be allowing and sometimes allowing that money to come through this red pill talk. Because this talk is showing you not to trust them. I mean, it's all, it's all falling. It's like a domino effect going on. 